Well, now Force of Sport and the Battle Back programme, which supports the rehabilitation of injured personnel, has been given a boost by the RAF. The Air Force is hoping to turn the facility into a centre of excellence for adaptive sports such as canoeing, kayaking and sailing. And it's hoped that some of the new users will go on to great things at the London 2012 Paralympics. Out on the water for the first time, members of the 1st Battalion, the Royal Anglians, are being given the chance to try out some of the water sports available on this corner of the River Thames in Oxfordshire. But they're not all taking to it like ducks to the water. I think they're fantastic, especially, it's something for everyone around here, so for all injuries, it's fantastic. A lot of them, uh, the injuries now are quite long term so far, so it's good to see them by everyone, themselves as well. Having fun, not doing rehab all the time. In 2007, the battalion was joined by Ross Kemp for the first of his documentaries from the front line. But during their tour, they lost nine men, with a further 70 plus injured, many of them undergoing treatment at Headley Court. Now the facilities here are to be used as part of that rehabilitation process, offering the injured the chance to boost their confidence out on the water. The guys and girls that come along from Headley Court just want to be treated completely normally. They want to fit in. They enjoy being with their, with their colleagues. And so it's, this is a great facility because they're not going into a different environment where they're, they're, they're alongside sort of, um, people that were on with a military background. So coming here where they're surrounded by pe everyday people that, have, that you know, have got a military background that can, they can relate to, I think is very healthy. I think it's great. Um, sort of month on month you get more and more facilities that keep coming out. Um, this is the first sort of aqua sports place. I've been to yet. Two years ago, Corporal Parker was injured in a friendly fire incident in Helmand. He lost three quarters of his left lung, his spleen, half his pancreas, broke both his legs, and has been left deaf in his left ear. A lot of people from Headley are obviously different units, different arms, but every time you go to one of these things, it's like a reunion, really. Everyone who was injured at the same sort of time, you, you recognise them. And generally, I've noticed today, some people I haven't seen for a while, they look a lot, lot better as well. And it's hoped that come 2012 we might be seeing some of these guys taking part in the Paralympics. It's a wonderful opportunity for uh, the, the injured personnel to go into that sort of field. They, they are by definition fit and healthy. So who knows, perhaps Olympians of the future. For once, the inter-services rivalry is put to one side.